Thank you for watching our instructional video. Open your kit and take out all of the contents. We begin by taking out the collection and shipping instructions. Be sure to read the entire instructions before you begin. On the other side of the instructions is the requisition form. Please fill this form out now and be sure not to leave any fields blank. Next, take out the sealed baggie, the biohazard bag, and the mailer bag with a prepaid label. Take out the contents of the sealed baggie, which include one protein saver card, three alcohol pads, three gauze pads, three band-aids, and three lancets. Please write your name and date of collection on the protein saver card. Open the flap so that the five circles are exposed. Avoid touching the five circles. Take an alcohol pad and choose either your middle or ring finger of your non-dominant hand and clean it with the alcohol pad. Prepare the lancet by twisting off the cap and removing it. Take the lancet to the tip of the finger that you cleaned with the alcohol pad and press firmly until you hear a click. Immediately start squeezing the tip of your finger with your other hand and allow a drop of blood to form on the surface of your finger. Squeeze your fingertip on and off and allow the drop to fall freely onto the circles on the card. Do not touch the circles on the card, and again, make sure that the drop of blood falls freely onto the card. Repeat this process until all five circles on the card are filled with your blood sample. If the bleeding stops prior to filling all five circles, simply put a band-aid on your finger and puncture a different finger using one of the extra lancets in your kit. Remember to clean each new puncture site with a new alcohol pad. After all five circles are filled, take a gauze pad and hold it on to the puncture site for a couple of minutes to ensure that the bleeding stops. Take one of the band-aids and place it around the puncture site. Let the protein saver card sit for 30 minutes to allow time for your blood sample to dry. After 30 minutes, close the flap and again, make sure your name and date of collection is written on the card. Place the card inside the Ziploc pouch of the biohazard bag and turn over the biohazard bag. Make sure the requisition form is completed and fold it up. Place the requisition form inside of the back pouch of the biohazard bag.
place the biohazard bag inside of the mailer bag. Seal and close the mailer bag and place it in the mail the same day you collect the specimen. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching our instructional video.